swirl around the I do like half of it and leave it half clean in case I need to go back and blend and not add more product. So I just kind of do that, maybe tap off a little excess, and then I just use it to kind of contour those natural hollows in my cheeks and emphasize them a little bit. Oops, go a little more down. But what's great about the buds is it doesn't apply too much at a time and you get more of a precise application, whereas the brush kind of spreads out too much than what I like, and I'm not going to leave it like this. Can you imagine how much my son would love me to cut target like this? Is this my mom? No, as much as I love to torture him like that, I'm not gonna do it. So then I like to go here and then just kind of bring it around. And then also emphasize the jawline. And we're gonna go back and blend all this, don't get scared. Don't be scared, that aren't nothing to worry about. And then I use the sides. my nose a little bit. So the next step is blush. That's my next step of my routine and I am using the Moonstruck, Moonstruck Minerals Press Blusher in Sweet. I also really want to try um, Stunning. It's more pinky but I really like this. It's a good, good color for anybody. It's not too orange, it's not too red, it's not too pink. It's just kind of kind of a perfect color and a little goes a long way. I always tap the brush off and see if it's hardly any but make your little smiley get the apples in your cheeks and I kind of work it up because as we get older if we push it up rather than just back, it really helps us to lift it. So. See, just that little bit. Get a little bit more on the other side. But even less really, because there's still some on the brush from the first, the first one. I kind of clean off the brush a little bit and go broader to really blend those lines. It's kind of so that you don't have like, oh, there's my bronzer, oh, there's my blush. No, not cute. This really helps spread it out. And then if you get a little too heavy on one side, you can use your bud. 